Hi, I'm Christina Adams. This is the place where we talk about God, Christianity, and life. Right now, we're going to talk about types of prayers that grow your faith in God. I'm going to talk about uh, three types that don't grow your faith in God as much as they could, and then uh, three other ways that are much more effective. So uh, first, I'd like to talk about the prayers that don't grow your, our faith in God as much. Uh, and it's not because these prayers are uh, that God doesn't answer them or because they, uh, they're they impossible prayers. It's just because of the type of prayer that they are. These are prayers that are ambiguous or they have a lot of working parts. And because of that, we don't see what's going on uh, in them and uh, or we don't see how they're being answered or they require uh, the direct effort of others. These are all different uh, issues. So some, some of these examples are uh, prayers like about the weather or prayers that uh, like for a city. Uh, these are great prayers. They're really, they're good. And they uh, or at least sometimes the prayers for weather can be a little bit uh, self-centered. So God is actually working in them, uh, especially with uh, ones like, like prayers for the city or prayers for a country that you're not in. Uh, if you're praying for a, a country like that, you may not hear if God is doing, if God is answering any of your prayers, because those are not the types of things that the news is going to report on. And so you have to wait. And because you're waiting all of this time, it feels as though those prayers aren't being answered when in fact they very well might be. So another type of prayer is the uh, prayer for healing, or if it's a uh, You know, if, if a person is going in to get uh, a test and they, they're worried about the results of the test. And so prayers for, for things like that. Uh, sometimes sometimes these prayers can be very encouraging, but sometimes they're not. And it, it, it depends a lot on, uh, you know, a person who, who has struggled for with a, a certain disease for years. You know, it, each each kind of prayer that they have along the way has, uh, you know, sometimes there there are positive answers and sometimes there are negative answers, and it's it's hard to know what God is is doing. Um, also, sometimes uh, things are are they seem like they're a natural kind of of answer. You know, a person who has swelling in their their brain, uh, the swelling may indeed go down, and it it might have gone down without prayer, but it might have gone down because of prayer, and because that answer is is a bit ambiguous. Uh, sometimes it's really easy to to assume that well maybe it was just natural means or maybe you know maybe it, you know the the first test that they had gotten that said that they were positive was wrong and and uh, it's it's really easy to to think up excuses or reasons for why that hasn't uh, that God hasn't perhaps done that and uh, the third type of prayer would be a safety prayer a prayer for someone's safety. And uh, like I said, it's it's good to pray for people to be safe, uh, in in the sense that you know, you want them to to remain whole and and in the same uh, emotional state that they were in. But at the same time, it's really it can be really easy to to uh, push answered prayers that are about safety aside and think, well, you know, oh, no one was out uh, driving around on Friday anyway, so it probably was a safe day to drive, or you know, people fly all the time from uh, location to location and they're doing fine. And so the fact that this person's flight went well doesn't automatically say God did this. Uh, even though it is entirely possible that God was was working very strongly in all of those situations, uh, we just don't see it. That we may not understand or we may not know to even look for. So. Those are, are three different types of prayers that uh, could grow our faith, especially when we see answers to them, but there are, they're harder to grow our faith uh, using them. Now, these are the three types of prayers that are uh, really good for growing faith. And these are prayers that specifically involve you. The reason for this is because you know what you are capable of. You know what you are you desire, you know what what things you can do, what things you can't do, you know uh, what your emotional state is about those things. And uh, because of that, when you see something happen in you that you know you actually couldn't have done it on your own, it is much easier to then say, God had to have helped me. 
and you don't have other people saying like I've, I've seen people where if you pray for them before they, they go uh, to, to get test results and they're like, Oh, I was just really worried. And they, they can, they can um, uh, discard the possibility that God did it simply because they know that their emotional state was, was such that maybe, you know, they, they were just worried about nothing. But in this case, you know what you were doing and what you, what God did in you. So these are prayers specifically for things that you need. Uh, finding things is is uh, a really big need <laughs> sometimes, especially in my my family's house. Uh, there were times when you know we we would just have to go, and everyone is employed to go look for this one item. You know, if it's the car keys or glasses or phone or uh, there's just a whole bunch of things that can be lost. And uh, even when I was younger, my mom would say that uh, God knows where the item is, and we're going to ask God to help us find it, and we would find things. And, but it always seemed like, you know, well, you know, obviously you just check the normal places and sometimes that's where it is in the first place. Um, but there was this one time project he was working on, the whole house was employed to go looking for this mallet and we're walking around looking. And, uh, you know, I, I, we, I don't know how long we had been looking for it at this point, but it was multiple minutes. And I just started praying. I was like, well, God, you, you know where this mallet is and uh, can you please help us find it? And, uh, I was walking in the garage and there was this box and the box had been for another project that that all the items had been taken out. And so it was just kind of left discarded right now on the floor of the, the uh, garage. And I just felt like I should check inside that box. And I was like, huh, that's weird. And so I go and I check and there was the mallet. It was inside the box. And it wasn't like the box was a good place to to look. It wasn't one of the normal places where where something like that would be hiding. Uh, but the fact that I knew I had prayed and I knew that God was with me and I knew that he was helping me to find this mallet because I would not have thought to look in the box by myself without that thought. And so that experience was really helpful in, um, in me wanting to trust God more and to, and to knowing that I could trust him. Uh, so the second type of prayer, so that was the first one. The first one is prayers about things that I need. And that includes like a whole bunch of things. You know, anything that you need and you know that you don't have or you don't you don't currently have access to and you see you prayed and then you have you suddenly had access to that thing. Uh, that is is a moment of realizing that, hey, you know, God, it's not just that he he is helping you or that he is, he is providing for you. He cares about the little things and he cares about them because those are the things that show us that he is real. So uh, that's always exciting to me. But uh, the second type of prayer, so the prayers that are, first one was prayers about things I need. The second one is prayers about things that I can accomplish uh, through direct effort, uh, but that I cannot ac accomplish without God. And these are uh, things that that I, I can do, but I can't do them right now. Like I've had this often with papers And I, it's just my mind is is such that I'm I'm other things are going on, or I just know that I I don't have the the mental ability to work on it in the way that I need to. And I would pray and ask God to help me. And then I would sit down and I would be able to to write it out or write out enough of it that I felt like I was totally fine with whatever grade I got because of it. But uh, I also would. Uh, there was this one time when I had a book I was working on and I had, I needed to write it in a short period of time. And I normally don't write books in a short period of time. It takes me a while. Uh, I've written um, maybe three or four books in, in my life and uh, maybe more than that, I, I, but uh, uh, definitely three that I've, I've uh, presented to other people. And this uh, this book, I needed to get it written and I wanted to be able to get it done along in a, in a very short time, but I always would get stuck. I get a writer's block of some kind. I'd, I'd write scenes that I'd had a trash. Um, I always had problems, especially in the middle. And I was like, God, I need, I need help. I need to be able to do this. And I was able to write that book in about two weeks. And I was able to write a second draft in one week. And that's something that I knew from my past experience in writing books that I would never, I would never have been able to do that if it was on my own. And so it's just neat to be able to see that like I, I have moments where I've seen God working in me to do things that I, I just, I would not have normally 
using my my natural skills and abilities, I would not have been able to do it normally. So those are those are really cool. Uh, and then so that's uh, prayers about things I need was number one. Prayers about things I can accomplish is number two. And then the third one is prayers about personal change. And this one is always is is really it's also really good just in general to have have prayers like this. These are things where you know that you you need to be doing something, but you don't want to do it, or there is uh, them better, or you need to have a different attitude toward them, or a different attitude toward work, or whatever it is. You know in yourself that right now you want to be going in a in a bad direction, but you ask God, help me to change and uh, help me to go in this new direction. And then when you find, you know, days later that you are going in that direction, you have an actual moment where you've seen uh, yourself change from going in one direction to going in the di in a different direction. Uh, that's uh, also neat is that you, uh, this is uh, something that I found uh, true for myself. Um, but I also found for myself that oftentimes the, the biggest change that I need is to want to do what is right. And right now I don't want to do what is right. So I want to want to do what is right. <laughs> I want to change what I want. This is something that Dallas Willard has talked about, especially in uh, hearing God. And uh, he you know, said, you know, you, you want to want and the want to want kind of prayer is, is a good prayer because it changes what what the state that you're currently in and it makes you able to go into a completely different direction, especially with like things like forgiveness or uh, loving people that you don't particularly like, you know, all of those things are, are great to, to look to God and say, look, I don't want to do this, but I want to follow you and I want to be able to do that thing and I need your help. And so then to be able to see God, how God changes you into doing uh, something that is more godly, more like him. So these are the three kinds of prayers uh, that help grow your faith. And um, it's because that you, you see the actual change and you're part of the actual change. You know all the parts that are working, all the parts that weren't working before, but now are. And um, when you see all of that, it, it really does build, build your own uh, experience with God, your own trust with God, um, which is, is really cool. So uh, I'd love to hear stories about God has worked in other people's lives. So, uh, which of these three prayers have you seen God uh, using God?